Okay, everybody, I'm making the um, fresh uh, fermented cherry tomatoes. So I emptied out two uh, quart jars of them. I drained the uh, juice, which is the salt, the water. So don't add, I'm not going to add any salt to this because the brine was salty. So right now I'm heating up some olive oil and I'm going to saute some garlic. And some onion, because I make my, my marinara sauce uh, with onions and garlic, okay? So, I don't let the garlic cook too, too long because um, it gets bitter. If it starts to burn, it gets bitter, okay? Right, and that should be enough. So, the tomatoes have a, um, they still have this skin on them, but they, they're really, um, they're delicious. I tasted them, they are delicious. So, being Italian, and it's Sunday, but I'm on keto, I figured, let me make the sauce, let me make the tomatoes, because I have the meatballs that I made. And I'll put a little bit of meatballs. So I'm heating up some water on the side. And I found these, this pasta in the uh, Costco. And this is the box. But it's chickpea pasta. So I'm going to try it. I'll be the guinea pig. I'll figure it out. So this is, it comes in a couple of bags. And it's five bags of this made from chickpeas. No, no, unless you try it, right? Right. So I'm gonna saute my onions and my garlic, which I'm doing right now, and it's cooking very quickly. I'm not gonna add no salt, because the brine had its own salt. And this is cooking very quickly. So, let me just lower this for a second. I just want to make sure that I drain all that brine out. And then I'm going to put these in. Now, um, when I jarred them, I jarred them with garlic. Here's the garlic. Oh, wait, I don't think I want to eat that. Because I have the garlic already. So I'm going to turn this back on high. Mix it up a little bit. And this is real pomodore. Pomodore is like the whole tomato. But this being fermented, I'm going to smash it up a little bit. And, and they're so easily, they smash up so easily. So they smell delicious. I can't, I, I wish you guys had smell a vision. And they pop very quickly. <laughs> but I don't want to dirty my stove. So as I said, I'm gonna I when I went to Costco I found that bag of chickpeas. So I'm gonna check it out and I will give it a review. If it's good, they'll get a thumbs up from me. So I, I'm trying to smash them. I, I have the immersion blender, but I don't want to dirty it and put oil in it because I use it in the morning to make my uh, bulletproof coffee. But this is fun. This is you know what this is like. You know when you get the plastic when the boxes come in the mail and they have the plastic bubble wrap and you sit there and you pop the bubbles. That's what this is like. Okay, I'm going to let this cook, and I think, I'm going to taste it now. Oh my God, does this taste delicious? But my husband has 
a little bit of uh, acid reflux, and he's really not supposed to eat tomatoes. So that's why I put the uh, baking soda in it, just to uh, take all that acidity out. And I'm bursting these tomatoes all over the place. So I may put um, some baking soda in it. But the flavor is so pungent. It's, um, it is, it is like eating fresh tomatoes. And this is like a new way of doing them, which is great. Because this jaw was three weeks old. I've had it on the, the shelf for three weeks. And then last night, I bought this, uh, I went to Trader Joe's and I found these tomatoes. They're in a blue can. And I never, I said, let me try them. They are delicious. They're, um, they're a Trader Joe's brand. And uh, later I'll, I'll show you the, the can once I pop all my cherries. So you can see like the acid, you can see the acid coming out. And then this is the tomatoes I made last night with the Trader Joe's because I made pizza on the barbecue. And that will be another recipe that I'll show you. And it came out delicious. So I'm going to bring this to a boil. When I bring it to a boil, I'm going to add a little bit of my baking soda into it. And then uh, it will take most of that acid away. As you can see, guys, uh, the I added some basil to the sauce. Sorry for the moving. You can see the acid coming up from the tomatoes. See the uh, bubbles. See all those bubbles? So, I mean, of course they were very acidic because they're fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes have got a lot of acidity in them. When I can my tomatoes, they're delicious, but they do have a lot of acid in them. So, I'm going to add a little bit of the um, baking soda. And if you watch my other videos before, that's how much baking soda. But you can see the acid coming up right now. Look at that. This way my husband can enjoy them. They are good, but I always add some sugar to my um, sauce. So keep on letting that cook, and then I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Uh, this much, you know, put your hand in the thing, and then take that much sugar and put it in. It's to your liking. If you don't want sugar in it, you don't have to put it in. If you just like it like this, keep it like this. Okay, my peeps, I'm back. Okay, so I was telling you about the tomatoes that I bought at uh, Trader Joe's, and I had made the pizza last night on the barbecue. These are the tomatoes. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, and I know this is backwards, so it says uh, Trader Joe's plum tomatoes, unsalted, whole, peeled. Okay? So, I mean, these are delicious, and I have been eating tomatoes for a long, long time. And the, they're a little hard. When you take them, they're baby aroma tomatoes. They're a little hard. But um, I use the immersion blender. And after I use the immersion blender, I just put them, you know, I sauteed some garlic and some oil, and I cooked them, and they came out delicious. So if you are in the Trader Joe's vicinity, and you see them, buy them, okay? All right, I'll show you the next step. Everybody, I just finished uh, the, the uh, chickpea pasta, 
and it doesn't uh, take as long as the um, lentil pasta. This cooks very quickly, so it's like regular pasta. And I tasted it, it tastes delicious. And I just added some of my meatballs into um, the sauce just to give it a little bit of flavor, but then I'm gonna take them out because what's gonna happen is they're gonna absorb all the sauce. So, and I just put some regular, you know, baked meatballs in the dish. And then, so I'm considering this as a keto dish um, and it's my way of making keto, okay? If you have any comments, please post them below. If you have any uh, suggestions, post them, post them below. And please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I always have some new and exciting videos. Thank you. Okay, um, I uh, am gonna finish this video. And what I did was I added some uh, cottage, not cottage cheese, um, Philadelphia cream cheese to uh, the macaroni. And the taste of the chickpea pasta is, you you can't tell the difference. It tastes just like regular pasta, uh, gluten pasta. But it is so delicious. And I, I sprinkled some um, Luca Deli cheese on top of it, or you can sprinkle some uh, Pecorino Romano. And I put the Philadelphia cream cheese in, uh, you know, little pieces, and, and then it melts because the sauce. But the sauce is out of this world. And anybody who tries this, and what I wanted to tell you was I added uh, two more scoops of uh, sugar to the sauce. But when you taste this sauce, it is by far the best sauce that I think I've ever had. And I make sauce a lot. And there's no more, I'm going to be buying canned tomatoes and I'm not going to be uh, canning tomatoes anymore. I just, I love this method. So guys, give it a try because it is really, really good. Okay. Thank you. Bye.